your students think about harm reduction? Well, actually, I haven't gotten to that part of the semester yet for, for this year, but in the past, um, generally, I think they've been pretty positive about it. Um, at least I've gotten no complaints about it. It seems, it seems logical to people. Actually, it seems logical to people who aren't in the field often, uh, I think, is, is the case. Um, but I think, you know, basically, I think they're probably more gradualists like I am in the sense that they see harm reduction as useful as a vehicle to ultimately recovering or changing your life in some way. Now, you mentioned gradualism. What is gradualism? So gradualism is a philosophy that I sort of um, crystallized, but certainly existed way before me, of understanding harm reduction, particularly a continuum of change or healing or transformation from starting with harm reduction, moving all the way to some sort of recovery, whether it's abstinence or it's moderation or it's non-addictive use. Seeing people as having, you know, addiction is a complex phenomenon. And I also, for me, consciously using the mechanisms of change. How do we get people better? How do they change? You know, we can, we can start with, you know, needle exchange or on the street work. But thinking our ultimate goal, and not quickly necessarily, but is we want the transformation of the human being, the healing of the human being. And that's, that's where our field should be looking like. So for harm reduction people, it means moving to an ultimate end of uh, recovery. And for more traditional people, it means moving back down to harm reduction, starting with people where they're at. So that's for me, is, and I think, I think many people actually resonate with that idea as kind of, that makes sense, it seems humanistic, that would be a good thing to do.